it's time for Stories from the Heart with Carolyn Mark. Hello, beautiful friends, and welcome to another story from our heart to your heart with Carol and Mark. Yippee! <laughs> Today's beautiful story is about a little spider who was very friendly but was having a little trouble with his spider schoolmates. Are you ready to find out more? Ready, set, and go! Ricky the Shiny Little Spider Ricky the Shiny Little Spider was a very friendly little spider. He went to spider school to learn how to make webs. He really loved his mama spider and papa spider, and even his sister spider. He loved them so much that he even made spider webs for them in the shape of hearts. But none of his classmates made heart webs. So the kids at spider school thought he was a little strange. He was strange because he was always thinking about little hearts, about making people happy, about sharing love and giving love to others. Ricky's legs were also a little short. It took him longer to make webs than everyone else. So he wasn't the first in his class because at spider school you're graded on speed. When he was in spider gym and he raced with his classmates, he was always in last place. So his classmates kept telling Ricky, Hey, Ricky, what kind of spider are you? You're always thinking about feelings and hearts and stuff like that. And your legs are too short. You're not fast enough. You're not a real spider. Ha ha ha. But Ricky, instead of getting upset and taking what his classmates said to heart, decided to pray to Big Brother Jesus because Ricky knew that he came to earth to live, love, and serve. So Ricky prayed to his guardian angel in Jesus and said, Please, Big Brother Jesus, teach me to love those who don't love me yet. They are my little brother and sister spiders, and I know it's no accident that I'm here in spider school with them. You say that we're all family with each other. Help me to see a heart coming out of my heart embracing them and bringing them to your light. So be it. And at that time, Ricky the Spider's prayer was so loving that he could see a little light shining from his heart to his classmates' hearts. So we learn together with Ricky the Spider something really important. So important that I'm gonna tell it to you guys in a song. Are you ready? Ready, set, and go! If we want to let our hearts smile, say a prayer. If we want to let our light shine, send out love. If we want to be loved and feel the love of Christ, if we want to be loved, give out love. And instead of being sad, smile from the heart. Because we're all together with the Christ. Let our hearts smile, let our light shine, everyone together with the Christ. So every time little Ricky the Spider met someone who challenged him, he'd say, well, maybe they just need a little extra dose of love. So Ricky started singing that song I just told you guys. And as he did, he saw a little, little tiny heart come out of his own heart. And that heart let him see far above the clouds. And he could see Big Brother Jesus winking at him and saying, Way to go, Ricky! <laughs> Yay! Wow! Guys, that story is so, 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 so important to all of us. I think it's a story that will help us deal with all kinds of problems we might face at school and with our family members and with other people. You know, not everyone always is very friendly to us. And we might look at those people and think, 
Oh, those people are so rude to me and so nasty. Oh, I can't believe. Maybe there's something wrong with me. But let's remember two things. One, probably that person is also feeling bad about themselves. Honestly, why would they make fun of you? Or why would they make fun of anyone if they themselves weren't feeling good about themselves and about life in general? And if we start thinking that way, we can start thinking about that maybe what we can do instead is pray. We can pray to those people and say, Dear Big Brother Jesus, please help these people who are making fun of me to learn about your love and to learn to love themselves. And if we said that to ourselves every time that happened, We'll get more courage to go forward with our life. So let's try it this week. Anytime someone says something that hurts us, let's ask Big Brother Jesus for help. Let's ask them to help to learn to love themselves more. And let's also remember that we are all children of God, that we all deserve to be loved. So if someone tells you that you're not worth anything because you're too short or because you can't make a good spider web, remember that you are a child of God, that you are from Christ, and you are from God, and you, you are special. You are a beautiful, loving, wonderful wonderful, wonderful example of Christ's love. So let's all remember that every day and give thanks to Big Brother Jesus and God for making us who we are, for helping us be with our friends, for helping us learn all these lessons about life. Thank you, Big Brother Jesus, for the gift of our life here on earth and for the gift of knowing about your beautiful, loving message because you taught us, Big Brother Jesus, about the importance of forgiveness, about the importance of love and understanding, and about the importance of being together and understanding that we're all here to help to learn to love, to learn and to serve. Dear God, help me to learn to love, to learn and to serve even more, and to respond every time I'm hurt with your message of love and hope. And so be it. And until next time, we look forward to seeing you for another Stories from the Heart with Carol and Mark. We'll see you very soon. We love you guys. Bye.